Hey guys, I'm in the kitchen at Smith's Nature Friendly Farms and I'm actually not cooking anything, but I am making something. I'm gonna share it with you. So with all the craziness going on in the world right now, it is really hard to find yourself a Lysol wipe. And I don't know about you guys, but I actually use Lysol wipes quite frequently, both in house, house cleaning methods and, and now most certainly when I'm going to the grocery store. So I have been looking for Lysol wipes for quite some time and there haven't been any on the shelves along with many other things. Good thing I have toilet paper. <laughs> But, um, so I saw a video and a link online. I, it, it started out as a web page and led to a video of a girl that had a recipe for Lysol wipes. And I decided that I would try it and show you guys the trial. So I actually did that um, and I filmed it and I tried it yesterday. And I was gonna post the video because it, it worked, but it didn't work perfectly. Um, but I've decided to actually retry it. So let's start out with, a few things, a couple of points. One is not my recipe, belongs to another girl. Um, whether or not it belongs to her, I have no idea. Um, but I will include her link in our comment section to give her credit because this, is, this isn't this is my recipe. Um, second thing, use with, with complete and utter caution. Um, I have Googled if rubbing alcohol, which is a key ingredient in this mix, is actually qualified to kill bacteria, and it is. Um, but the one thing I can't say for sure is whether or not dil diluting it um, at 12, it, it, in this case, 12 ounces of water um, diluted with some uh, rubbing alcohol, if it retains its strength. So to me, there's some unknowns here. But when I'm faced with absolutely no wipes um, and no other, like I can't get my hands on hand sanitizers, I will certainly... Um, take this as an option outside of no option whatsoever. So I give you that um, for the same caution. So um, let's first take a look at what I did yesterday and I'll tell you why we're gonna do it again. So this is my product from yesterday. Things that I liked about it is it works in the sense of you get a very efficient pull and rip uh, wipe and it's actually remained strong enough um, that I can actually use it but I would do a couple of things differently and one of them she actually recommended from the start and when I originally filmed it I said you know I, I don't have this so I, I'm modifying so I'm gonna try now without modifying so let me tell you the recipe and I'll specify some of those modifications that failed for me so first off, you need 12 ounces of water, and that's just about one and a half cups. It's a little over the one and a half cups mark. You need four dashes of Dawn liquid soap, a quarter cup of rubbing alcohol, which I just realized I've left in the bathroom, so I'm going to go grab it. You're gonna need high quality paper towel. So this is my key point to one of my changes from the first go round. I didn't have high quality paper towel and initially some of the paper towel kind of ripped. It's actually still not holding up too badly. Um, it's a like a dollar store mid-level version. Um, but overall, I really think that you would be better off using the highest quali quality to paper towel. So I picked up some Bounty, quicker picker upper, and uh, I'm using that today to retest um, with a higher quality paper towel. The second thing that didn't go well in the first time I did this is I don't like the size of the wipes. So if I pull this out, even if I pull it long, they're really thin and they wrap almost like a piece of toilet paper. And you can see here like it's ripping a bit. So it's not, it's not like a, it's not usable, but I, 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 it is usable, but not, not like I'd want it to be. I'd like a, a thicker piece. So what I'm gonna trial today is doing the same thing with a full roll of paper towel and the full roll of the high quality paper towel. So we're gonna use that. And lastly, this is the, probably the hardest thing to find if you're gonna make this, but it's going to be the container that fits your paper towel. 
um, and maybe you have options. I had one lucky option. I almost threw this out yesterday because I'm like, am I ever going to use this? I'm a recycler. I try to think of things that I can recycle and I'm finally going to use my cheese balls, plastic tub, um, in order to create my extra large container of hand wipes. So let me grab that rubbing alcohol and uh, we'll put the recipe together and see how this one works. All right. Handy dandy rubbing alcohol. This was also hard to find. Um, I went into the dollar store today. They are locking us down. So um, I went to the dollar store to get one thing of milk before they do. And uh, I also checked to see if they have any more of this and they were completely out. So hopefully you have some of this in your home or maybe it's not out in your area, uh, but rubbing alcohol will, um, will work here. So you need one quarter of a cup of rubbing alcohol to 12 ounces of water and four drops of the Dawn. One, two, three, four. If I had to guess, being that I'm doing such a large roll, I might need to do this twice um, because I did one of these when I did the half roll and um, it seemed to soak it all up just right. So we may have to do this twice, double the recipe. Okay, so I have stirred this mixture. So again, that's 12 ounces of water and four drops of the Dawn and a quarter cup of the rubbing alcohol. And I've got it, my container, and I'm to pour it on top. Give it a second, let it soak up. I'm gonna put some down at the bottom. It's definitely a quicker picker upper. It's soaking up pretty good. Ooh. I think I will give it one more. I will double the recipe for the whole roll. So another quarter cup rubbing alcohol, four dashes of Dawn, give it a stir. sides a bit. Okay, so probably a bit more than you need for that, but that's great. All right, so now I have my quicker picker upper all soggy-fied, and we're going to simply start from the center roll. We're just gonna pull the center roll out. Now, when I filmed this last time, this worked beautifully. All right, so I had to flip it over in order to get it to work properly. But this is how you do it. This is how you pull it out to get it centralized and look at how it perfectly pulls the paper towel out. Right there. There you go. Now this is actually still a bit dry. So I would say, hands down, keep using the rest of the material. But 
yes, I like this way better. They're larger sheets and they're definitely a lot firmer. They're not perfect. You can see that hole right there, but they're definitely a lot firmer than the ones yesterday. I think if I did that same thing with these ones, like you can see how thin they are. So much, like they just fall. So definitely go with the high quality um, paper towel. At the end of the day, they're just paper towel. They are meant to biodegrade, so they are gonna rip. But that seems to work a lot better. So um, if you're doing a whole, I guess our learnings from this one is if you're doing the whole container, use a double round of the recipe and do your best to cover all of the, um, the roll. All right, now I've made a mess with cleaning supplies all over my counter, but that'll be super clean. Awesome guys, well I hope that's helpful. Um, again, I'll give credit to the originator of the recipe in my comments always use with caution. Uh, I don't think this overrides um, the ability of getting things like Lysol wipes. Lysol wipes are probably still a much better option if you can get your hands on them, but in a pinch, I think these will work and they'll certainly work for house cleaning. Awesome guys. Well, be friendly, be kind. using one of my standard Tupperware containers and I'm gonna try to cut the paper towel to fit this container. And you need a roll of paper towel, which you will be cutting. So you're, she highly recommends in her video that you utilize high quality paper towel. So this may fail in the fact that I don't have any high quality paper towel. Paper, paper towel is still a bit hard to get and I happened to pick up some when I saw some on the shelves and it wasn't high quality. So this may fail and it may not be at all in relation to, to the recipe. It may need to be trialed with some really high quality paper towel because she is very clear you need to use high quality paper towel. So this is probably mid-level. We might, it might work. We're gonna try anyways. Um, yeah, so let's give it a go. This is gonna be the funny part is cutting it. I, I don't, it, she made it look easy, but I don't know. Not bad, I, just, I thought it would be a lot harder to cut, but it's not. So here it is, it looks like a toilet paper roll now. I feel kind of awkward and now I have this bit of extra left, but if the, it works, I guess I can make some more. Um, please nobody tell my husband that I used his very expensive, good quality knife, but it was the sharpest knife in the house. So he won't be too happy, hopefully he won't watch. All right. So we're going to put it in our container, fits very nicely, voila. I think we're supposed to mix the stuff first, so let's do that. Oh, and I forgot, she actually mentions dish soap. So I'm gonna grab some dish soap. Good old Dawn. All right, so here's our quarter cup. Uh, rubbing alcohol. She says four dashes of dish soap. One, two, three, four. All of that mixed into the 12 ounces of water. Give it a stir. Smell. Smells clean. One thing I did do before I did this was I actually did Google. Now, Google doesn't know everything, but according to what I can find on Google, um, this is rubbing alcohol is a, a positive way or a sufficient way to clean your hands to sanitize. So um, uh, before I did this, I thought, well, is this even a good thing to be doing? And apparently it is. So um, the only thing I didn't find an answer to is whether diluting it with water reduces its um, effectiveness. So you are doing this 
in the event that you can't get your hands on any Lysol wipes, because I would still stand by, probably your best bet is to get Lysol wipes. Um, however, if you can't get them, this is probably better than nothing at all. I would take this over nothing myself. So I can't get those wipes, so here's, here's why I am here. So now we're going to pour it on top of our toilet paper. You're supposed to let it soak up for a second. And then you pour in the rest. All right, looks very moist. We're gonna take out the center. Interesting enough, as I pull out the center, you can see that it's naturally pulling some of the paper towel with it, which gives you your starting point, which I think is actually kind of kind of cool. All right, so here's the problem with my very small roll. These are very small pieces. <laughs> I'm not gonna do a lot of wiping with this. Do a bigger roll. But, hey, oh, oh, and they fall apart. Gotta use the high quality paper towel. <laughs> I think it's still okay. I would still wipe down a, way, a little bit the toilet, but maybe so. I don't know. I don't know if I'd do it. I'll try again. Next time I'll try with the high quality paper towel if I can find any, but you're welcome. Maybe you have some at home and you want to try it. Um, you never know. It might not be so bad. Let's, let's just see. Let's wipe off our... Yeah, it's, it's not terrible. I have seen far worse. So maybe give it a go, and especially if you have high quality paper towel. All right. That's the homemade hand wipes, you know, sanitizer wipes. Hopefully the recipe works for you. Um, hopefully you have some high quality paper towel in your home and definitely in order to do this, you'll need some rubbing alcohol. And if you have those ingredients, you may be able to make yourself your own hand wipes. Awesome guys. Well, that was kind of a fun experiment. Have a really great day. Be friendly, be kind.